Okay, beautiful people, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to be doing another new makeup releases video where I talk about all of the new makeup, all of the new beauty products to hit the market, let you guys know if I'm interested, if I'm not, and then I also try to sprinkle in whether or not I think these products are gonna go on sale so you can save some coins because in this economy, we all need to save some coins, right? Just saying, you, me, Tanti, Granny, Nen, and everybody. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and scooch over to the side. I will be using makeup on your radar, but then I'll pop over to Trend Mood and whoever else I could find. <laughs> all of their stuff is in the insta in the um like screenshots that I put up. So if you wanna go follow and support, make sure you do that. But let's go ahead and dive in because it's been a minute and I missed you guys. So let's chat. And ignore the suitcases in the back. I'm not going nowhere. So mind your business, okay? <laughs> All right, let's start from the top. The first thing I see, Urban Decay has revived their original Naked Eyeshadow Palette. Who was asking for this? I, I genuinely want to know because I personally think Urban Decay needs a revival, but not this kind of revival because nobody wanted this. And if we're going to be very honest, maybe this is a controversial hot take, but this palette wasn't all that. I'm just saying. I know that it was like the beginning of that palette phase where everybody was coming out with palettes and this is supposedly like the mecca of palettes or was the mecca of palettes at that time. But as someone who purchased this palette because everybody said you needed it, this was not made for anybody deeper than tan. I genuinely think that this was not a palette for deeper complexions and I feel like I was sold this dream that this is the perfect eyeshadow palette when in all honesty, it was dusty and ashy on me. Granted, my makeup skills weren't what it was, wasn't what it is now, so that also played a factor. But the shades were just dusty and ashy in general, so I could care less that they've brought this back because I have moved on in my life and I just think that they're so much better. I wanna know if this has a different formula, I want to know how this is going to look on deeper skin tones, but not enough for me to call for up the $59 that they have the audacity to charge for this palette. <laughs> they have lost their mind. I, I would love to know if you remember, if you recall, please put it in the comments or somewhere what this palette cost when it originally came out because I know it wasn't $59 and I don't think that they have any business <laughs> bringing it back at this price point. Not today, not today, uh-uh, they tried it. That being said, I, I guarantee you guys this is gonna go on sale. Now, honestly, it's a limited edition release, so it's limited quantities, it's exclusively only at Ulta, so I don't even think you can get it on the Urban Decay website, so. If you really, really want this for the nostalgia of it, I mean, sure. But I personally don't think that this is going to sell out or be as big of a deal as they think they as they think it will be. But I could be wrong. So if it sells out, you know, I'ma eat my words gladly. Okay, moving along, Cryptine Cosmetics. This is another relatively new indie brand that came on the scene. They had a really pretty palette. I think last fall it was like this greenish, neutral, green neutral-ish palette. So they have a violet craze palette. It's $59. Six mattes, three multi-chromes, a hollow, hollow multi-chrome, a shimmer, and a metallic shimmer. <laughs> There's so many different types of shimmer formulas that sometimes I'm like, ooh, what does that even mean? <laughs> and I feel like brands will use different terms. So some will say hollow chrome, some will say hollow multi-chrome, like holographic, and I don't understand what the differences are anymore. If there is a chart that explains that, I would love to know because I'm genuinely curious, you guys. Um, that being said, this, it, I, I don't like this. I don't know if it's this picked here, that is specifically here that is so desaturated that it doesn't look very fun. But, yeah, I'm not, this doesn't pique my interest in any way, form or fashion. I feel like this is purples, neutrals, a little bit of green, um, and all shades that I feel like I have elsewhere. What did pique my interest though is this Glaminatrix Barely Basic palette. I love a good neutral. This is giving spicy neutrals, and when I first saw this, I'm not gonna lie, I immediately thought about the All Done Up palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Uh, but Deandra Nicole, who does all of the swatches on Deeper Complexions, she actually shared side-by-side -side swatches of All Done Up with this one, and it is different. It's very different. <laughs> so 
that was my bad, you guys. This, I think, is more in the warm neutrals vein. So if you really look at the color story of this, it is pretty much warm neutrals, which honestly speaks to my soul more than anything else. And all done up does have like some blues and some cooler shades. Uh, and it also, I think, has less shades. I think it's a smaller palette um, with like very curated warm neutral, cool neutral, silvery, gold kind of setup. Um, this, I'm not gonna lie, is lovely. I had one Glaminatrix palette and I did not like it. <laughs> I actually gave it to my friend Quay Bones. If you're not following them, make sure you go subscribe. Um, because I, I felt personally victimized by that palette. I remember I picked up the palette because I thought that it was beautiful, it was amazing, it was stunning. So, and I had so much confidence and faith in that palette that I took it to a conference with me. And when I tell y'all I struggled and I was mad as hell, and when you're traveling, you don't have the option to try anything else because you've only packed the one thing. And that was the only thing that I packed. And I felt like I looked crazy that whole conference. So I was just mad about it <laughs> and decided that the whole brand wasn't for me. So I gave it to my friend Quaybones. Now I do think that they have improved or reformulated their mattes. So I am curious about this, interested, peaked. Again, it's also warm neutral. So part of me wants this, but it's $64 and this is an international brand. I believe they are Australia based, which means that it's going to cost a lot to get it shipped here. So this is going to be a not no situation, but I'm not saying not ever because I might be willing to risk it in a future date. Uh, I also am not familiar with Glaminatrix's sales. Do they do sales? Like, would I be able to get a 25% off? Let me know, you guys, because I genuinely want to know. Um, in terms of what you get, though, this palette has four iridescent duochrome toppers, four intense metallics, and 12 smooth pigmented mattes. Wait, there's no multi-chromes or anything? Oh. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and has a 24-month expiration. Um, hmm. I feel like for $64, it should have one multi-chrome, at least. But that's just me. It's pretty, though. I'm not gonna lie, I, I want this. <laughs> okay, let's move along. Okay, I'm gonna stay away from the fragrances because I find it hard to talk about them. <laughs> but I do wanna talk about this one because I've been interested in this brand. It's called Brown Girl Jane, and the fragrance is Carousel. Now, I don't know if I care about this <laughs> this fragrance in particular, but they have a fragrance called Julie Mango, and it, it is like literally based off, well, it's not, I don't think it's called Julie Mango. I think it's called Carnival, but it's spelt wrong because it's based off of like Trinidadian and Caribbean Carnival, and, Ju and it has a Julie Mango scent to it, if I'm remembering this correctly. Don't hold me to it if I'm wrong, you guys, but I remember I kind of like looked into it, and they had all of this promo pictures that was basically Trinidad Carnival, and eating a Julie Mango. I have a Julie Mango tree in my backyard home. So it was, it spoke to me on a different level and I was like, oh, I need to try this. And it's black owned. I think it's three black women that own this brand. So I'm, my interest is peaked and I want to smell it for this before I, I buy it. That, but that's not this fragrance. So this fragrance is Carousel. It is described as fresh and it is fresh citrus and fruits. And the key notes are caramelized apple, lily of the valley, sandalwood. $102 for the full size and $30, I guess, for the travel size. Okay. My interest is peaked. Next up, we have two new palettes coming from Gourmand Girls. These are actually kind of pretty. I like this packaging mainly because they're very tropical. Like, all I see is beach. <laughs> so, part of me is like, yep, let's go to the beach. Oh. Wait, uh, so it looks like this is actually also a collab with Gourmand Girls and Ladybug Low. Who is Ladybug Low? Interesting. So there's Paradise Cove and El Camino. Wait, isn't Lady... I I feel like I remember Ladybug Low and I feel like I remember a little bit of controversy there. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, let me know. Anyway, <laughs> these, these are pretty. They are... Very, very pretty. I would love to see swatches of this. I don't know which formula it's gonna be, but cool, I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen two brands, like indie brands collab on a palette. Hmm. There's no price or anything like this, so I'll keep you guys posted as more information comes out. Sticking with Gourmand Girls, they have a new, well, I guess it's launching August 13th. It's their new mascara. 
Plus, it looks like there will be three palettes, two lip oils, and bundles. But all this, this picture has is the mascara, so... It looks like they have a lot that will be coming out with this um, collection with Ladybug Wool. I, I need to do a little bit more digging into that because I'm confused by the collab, if that makes sense. Like, does one is one doing one thing? Like, is are we using Gourmand Girls eyeshadow formula, but Ladybug Glow's lip oil? I don't know. I don't know. But if you know more, let it let us know in the comments below. So we have a new palette from Notoriously Morbid. Um without a little what's life without a little gossip i okay i'm still i still haven't forgiven notoriously morbid for how long they took to ship my palettes which finally arrived and they're sitting here somewhere i actually have used them i haven't filmed with them but um i have the stone cold palette really nice and i honestly loved playing with this one and then i had the paint the town red palette also very pretty, but I will say the experience of playing in them was kind of overshadowed by how long it took to get here and some of the excitement being gone. So they are still in timeout until they figure out what their shipping situation is. Now this palette is going to be $46.99, which is not bad. I can't tell like how special these shades are, but it does say that it's a mix of like shifty jewel tones and multi-chromes. But looking at these swatches, it's just a ton of blues. Like... From what I can tell, it just looks like a bunch of blues. Like a lot of blues or like blue, green, teal, turquoise shades. Which, when you put them next to each other, they're not going to be different enough to really show up on the eyes. So, I'm not quite excited by this release at all. I think this is actually quite boring for Notoriously Morbid. And one of the things I appreciated about them is that they really do push the edge. But this just seems boring for them. It's a little disappointing. We have a new collection from Shantikai. This is their Cheetah collection. I think Shantikai is just overpriced and like overrated. <laughs> I feel like this video has just gotten spicy or started off spicy, but must stand 10 toes deep. They're overpriced and overrated. This whole collection, not even the whole collection, Jesus be offense. The Eye Trio. So just three eyeshadow shades. One of which is a dusty, <laughs> dusty beige, <laughs> slightly dusty a beige. <laughs> okay, let me be serious. Let me be serious. So you, it looks like there are two mattes and then one shimmer shade. And the three of them shades is $78. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Be for two dusty mattes and one shimmer, they lost their mind. In addition to that, um, there's three lipstick shades that are available, and those are $54 each. I, could somebody explain to me what, what it is about the Shantikai formula that makes it so expensive? Like, I, I genuinely don't understand it. I feel like the quality and the performance doesn't justify the price, because $78 for three shades is wild to me from this brand. Because I've never heard anybody say, that is their go-to eyeshadow formula. That is what they reach for. I've heard that about Pat McGrath. I've heard that about um, Natasha Denona. Heck, even like the Prada and the Hermes and Chanel, and Chanel. I see people using those. So I don't understand. And I'm pretty sure those are cheaper than this. Like, so the correlation is confusing to me. Now, granted, I do believe part of the proceeds goes to support something so it does say that this supports the cheetah Cons conservation fund and their cheetah rescue and conservation center but my thing is that you know what i'm just gonna let it go i'm just, I'm, I'm not gonna go down this road i'm not gonna go down this rabbit hole because it, it it doesn't seem like they're putting any of their funds into this it just seems like they've just added more to the price so that you guys are the ones that are technically funding their philanthropic contributions versus them doing it for themselves. It's, it's, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm let it go. This just isn't the brand for me and I figured this out a long time ago, so I can't tell you last time I bought anything from Shantikai. I do have products from them that are still in my collection, but I don't purchase from them anymore. It's just, a, and that's just a me thing. You don't have to be on the same wave or the same train. If you love it, I like it for you. <laughs> that's just, that's your money, your choice. I've always maintained that and I will continue to maintain that. So Tom Ford has reformulated their lip collection. So it says this is for a more moisturizing, plumping finish. 
and it will be on sale September 6th. Interesting. I do have a few Tom Ford lip products. They're okay. They're nothing special. I will say the Tom Ford lip formula doesn't stand out to me. I mean, the packaging is phenomenal and it's gorge. But, and they do have multiple different formulas. So I don't know which ones they've reformulated, but I'm guessing it's their matte formula because I do have a couple from them. Like these are just three of my Tom Ford lips, lip products. And this one is... This one is described as a satin. This one is a satin matte. Are these both satin mattes? Yeah, these are both satin mattes. And this one was a limited edition. I don't think it even says what it is, but... Ooh, this is pretty. Have I used this? I don't think I've ever used this. Look at that. And it has like little... Hold on. I want y'all to see the little glittery flecks in there. That is pretty. Y'all, I don't think I ever used this. My bad. That is a little ghetto though. I try to use my products, I really do. Especially the expensive ones that cost a ton. I have used this one, as you can probably tell. This one is well used, well loved. This is a really nice formula. It is like a satin matte, so it's more comfortable than a true matte. Oh my God, don't tell me I didn't use this one either. I haven't used this either. Oh Jesus, be a fence. It, it is part of my to-do this week to use my Tom Ford lipsticks. Like this is, never been touched. Why? And this is such a beautiful shade. Moroccan. Ooh, this is, this would be pretty. Okay. I'm going to use my Tom Ford lipsticks this week. Oh, they're so dusty. <laughs> this is another one. This is actually an ultra shine formula. This one I have used or swatched. I don't think I've used it, but it has like swatch marks on it. I think I've used this maybe. Um, this is pretty too but it's an ultra shine formula. So like I was saying, Tom Ford has a ton of different lip formulas and they even just came out with one of those like super duper thin lippies. So it'll be interesting. I'm not gonna pick this up. You shouldn't either until it comes to the cosmetics company store. Y'all already know. Don't buy Tom Ford unless it's at the CCO because you can get it for 50% off or more. I feel like I missed this release, but Bella Butte Bar has a new collection. This is... Sea meld? No, I don't know what the, I don't know what the collection is called, but there is an eyeshadow palette which is all mattes, so you get twenty matte shades, thirty six dollars. I think that is appropriately priced because it is an all matte palette. I would be mad if it was anything more than forty bucks. In addition, there is a palette of simply Molen chromes. I, is that supposed to be multi chromes? I don't know if this is actually like. A typo or if it's called Molen Chromes. Molen Chromes six pan magnetic eyeshadow palette, five multi-chrome shimmers and one holochrome shimmer. And that is $60. $60 for six shades. I'm not sure. There is a baked blush palette. So you get six matte blushes, $30. That's not bad pricing. And then there is a mascara for 16. I've heard great things about Bella Beat Bar. Um, I've tried one of their old, old, old palettes and I didn't love it, but I've, I've been told that that formula is not what they use now, so I should give them another shot. So I do think I, I will give them another shot, not with this collection, because I don't need an all matte palette. Y'all know Blend Bunny is my all matte fix right there. I don't need nothing else. But I do want to try one of their palettes that is a mix of mattes and shimmers and special shades because it. I've heard people rave about it, and I would love to, to give it a try. Okay, hold on, my daddy's calling. Okay, sorry about that. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you go follow me on Instagram. It's just jammy underscore trini. I posted a really, really cute reel with my dad and I just had a lot of fun with it. And I'm working on convincing my mom to do one with me. So <laughs> I don't know how to post it to YouTube because the YouTube shorts are typically like 90 seconds long and that reel is like two minutes, so. Uh, but it's worth it. Trust me, it's worth a watch. So I will try to pop up my Instagram handle so you can go follow me and go watch it because it's so cute. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's continue on. Oh, so this is a really exciting release. Um, let me see if I can include the video so you guys can see it. But Makeup on Your Radar, aka Jamie. I don't know why I said aka Jamie because that's her name. Um, Jamie, aka Makeup on Your Radar, is collabing with 
uh, Dee Dee Signature. I'm really excited about this. First and foremost, y'all know Jamie really does it for us with making sure that she compiles all of these new makeup releases so we can keep track of what's happening in the makeup community. And Dee Dee Signature is a black owned beauty brand. So this is just like awesome sauce in my opinion. So the collection consists of four palettes. It's a peak up inspired collection and it's four five pan palettes and each eyeshadow palette is only $18.99. You guys know how I feel about <laughs> pricing in this community. There is one palette that is more expensive. It is the Effervescence palette, which is basically iridescent multi-chrome shades and that is $25.99 which honestly I still think is way under what all of these other brands are charging. Now, if you want the PR box, it is gonna be discounted. So you're gonna get all four palettes and that is gonna be $76.99. And you can use affiliate codes. So it's gonna be available August 16th. Um, well, pre-order start August 16th. The launch date is August 20th. So make sure you keep your notification bells on. You can use code radar10 to save 10% off of your pages. It is, it's a beautiful collection, you guys. It is definitely spicy, um, let me spicy neutrals. It is a colorful collection because it is peacock inspired, but I think you'll actually like this one. And you don't have to get everything, you can just pick the color story that speaks to you most. I do have it, I was able to get it in PR, Jamie, um, and Dee Signature, thank you both for sending it my way. I am going to be creating content on it. I'm just so far behind. If, you, if you've been watching me, you know that I have not been posting as frequently as I do. So I'm playing catch up, y'all. So bear with me. Everything will come in due time, but it will come. <laughs> but yeah, congratulations, Jamie, and congratulations, Dee Dee Signature. Make sure y'all make sure y'all go and support if you can. Importantly, there if you can. Don't be spending coins y'all don't have, okay? We don't do that over here. Speaking of congratulations, I uh, also have to send congratulations to um, Samantha March because she has a new collab with um, Sigma Beauty. I know Sigma and Samantha have collabed in the past, uh, but it doesn't make this any less exciting. So this is the Samantha March Favorites set. It comes with two eyeshadow brushes. It looks like a quad, a lip oil or a lip gloss. No, it's a lip oil. And then the Sigma Switch, which is what you use to... Um, switch from one um it looks like a cleaning pad but they call it the sigma switch so basically if you're moving from one shade to the next and you want to use the same brush you just kind of dust it off so the entire bundle is available now for 62 dollars on the sigma website and it's not eligible for any discounts but yeah congrats samantha okay i'm trying to be mindful of the time i know i haven't done this in a very very long time but i don't want to keep you all here all day because I hope you all are as outside as I am. <laughs> so we're just gonna do a couple more. Uh, Blake Lively has a new hair care brand that will be launching soon. I... It is, it is very interesting to see how all of these celebrities are jumping on the beauty train, whether that be makeup, hair care, fragrance, everybody got a brand now. Um, and it is kind of getting a little boring and a little bit played out. I don't know anything about Blake Lively and her connection to hair. I also know that Blake Lively don't, Blake Lively doesn't have my hair, so it doesn't even really matter. <laughs> like, it, it it probably won't work on textured hair. Maybe it will, who knows, but it's never going to be for me. It's just not. So, it is what it is. Let's keep on moving. Now, what is an exciting collection is a, the new Meta Morph collection from um, Artitude Cosmetics. Artitude Cosmetics is a UK brand that I discovered last year, and I have really been following closely because I really love their products. The quality is amazing. And I love the fact that it is a brand that is not US based, which means that it is probably more affordable for folks that don't live in the US because I understand shipping and customs costs can really, really drive up some of these indie products and make it not worth it. So I also want to point out that I am actually wearing the palette today. So they did send me the Metamorph palette, which is stunning. It's so beautiful, you guys. So dang pretty. And the two highlighters, which I forgot to use in my demo video. Damn. I'm gonna have to use it at a later time. But I'm wearing the Metamorph palette right now, but this is only a part of the collection. So let's dive into what you get fully. So you get the Metamorph palette, which is a 16 pan eyeshadow palette. There are two highlighters, a couple of pigments, a brush set, a blunder and a Revival Mixing Liquid, and the full palette is 180 pounds. I need some, let me, hold on, let me go to the website so I can get, 
US-based pricing. Okay, so this is available now if you were interested in picking it up. So let's talk about it. The full collection is available right now for $236 USD. So like I said, you get the brushes, the eyeshadow palette. It looks like you might get a makeup bag too, and that makeup bag is kind of cute. We don't need any makeup bags. I'm not telling y'all buy this makeup bag. Trust me, I know you don't need a makeup bag because I know I don't need a makeup bag. <laughs> Anyways, the palette is beautiful though. So if you pick anything up, pick, pick up the palette. Um, if you just want the palette, the brush set, and the makeup bag, that will run you $144. The eyeshadow palette by itself is $55 USD. The brush set by itself, which is 19 brushes, is $79. The makeup bag is going to be $20 and the Cohesion Multi Chrome Highlighter is $24 whereas the Flotation Multi Chrome Highlighter is $16. If you want the Waterproof Mixing Liquid, that is going to run you $14. There are a couple of pigments that are $16, like loose pigments that are $16 each and the Blender is going to be $8. So that is the full collection. It's it's such a beautiful one. And this is coming from somebody that has not been into colorful eyeshadow lately. But that one did pique my interest, which I was very surprised and super excited by. Okay, let's just do a couple more. I didn't get a chance to talk about this the last time. I talked about the fact that it was coming and now it's finally here. Um, the Ensley Rain palettes Flutter and Flourish. Turns out they were not face palettes, which I guessed. But they're actually smaller eyeshadow palettes. Um, the Flutter palette is $50, the Flourish palette is $55. Um, the collection also does include two blushes and some lip glosses. The Moon Dust, I, I guess the blushes are $9, the lip glosses are $16. The Moon Dust, which I don't know if those are like pigments, like loose pigments. Anyways, whatever. The palettes is what I was excited about. They're really beautiful. I think I like the, I don't know the name. <laughs> Flutter palette more, which is the Muted Earth Tones and Soft past Pastels. Is that what it is? Yes. Yes. The Flutter palette is one that I like most, and that's $50. Um, I'm not picking anything up, but I will say I'm glad that they are exploring smaller palettes at a cheaper price point because I think we've all come to consensus on the fact that their palettes are expensive and it is hard to shop from them considering the price point of their products. Okay, I'm gonna skip over quite a few things, so please don't get mad at me. I wanna briefly touch on two new Tom Ford quads, Metallic Mauve and Rose Veil. Vale. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why I'm interested in these, but they're very pretty. <laughs> they are very pretty. These quads typically retail for $90, but I promise you they will end up at the cosmetics company store, so don't feel like you need to rush out and purchase them because they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna go on sale, promise you guys. Um, and they're not exactly a unique color story, but something about the sort of basic beige-ness of me right now is feeling them a lot. What caught me off guard, I will say though, is the new Pat McGrath release. I was kind of wondering where Patricia was because the brand has been pretty silent all year and the releases that they've had so far have been very low key, which I don't know if they're taking a break trying to regroup and figure out what the next phase of the brand will be, which they, let's be real, they need to. Um, but it was nice to see them release two new quads. I think the packaging is really pretty. It is pink, but I, I, I think we all kind of accept that. Um, and there are two quads. So the first is Nirvana Nectar, and then the second is Opalescent Orchid Divine. Now, I think the Opalescent one is that very, very iridescent palette. So it's all kind of light, maybe mid-toned, pastel-y shades that are all shimmers. Really pretty, very unique, different for Pat. And I'm saying unique, like lightly, okay? Because I understand that it's pinks and purples with a pop of green, but I do think that this is different for Patricia and what we usually get. And then there is the basic, like, neutral, warm neutral quad. I'm not gonna lie, that one caught my eye. I am quite interested in it. Both of these are very exciting. Both of these are gonna go on sale because Pat McGrath always goes on sale. So I don't think you need to rush out and buy this. I don't see if this is limited edition or not. But I also don't think it's going to sell out. Pat McGrath rarely ever sells out anymore. So I think you're safe if you want to wait until like a 20, 25, 30% off sale from Pat McGrath. Okay, two last things I want to touch on and then we can exit stage left. First is a brand that I never thought would catch my eye ever again. Okay, that's dramatic. 
but you guys get what I'm saying. Too Faced has a new uh, palette. This is the Aptly In Love eyeshadow palette. It looks like they brought back their tin packaging, which y'all know, they always ate when they had that tin packaging. Is when they started doing things outside, outside of the tins that it wasn't working for them. I think this color story is beautiful for some very strange reason because it like okay if we're being honest this is a basic neutral palette warm neutrals at that with a pop of green because if you cover up the kind of silvery green at the bottom and then the light green I'm guessing matte at the top this is a warm neutral palette with a little bit of red in there you know maroon not even like red red it's like maroon mauve it's a basic warm neutral palette with a pop of green so it's nothing special but it caught my eye and I'm hoping that because it's in this tin packaging it's gonna do something <laughs> it is $54 um, and the more I look at this the less I like it but I'm not going to lie when I first saw this I was like okay Too Faced I see y'all making a comeback look at that look at y'all doing some things but the more I look at this I'm like what a bait and switch because this is really just the basic neutral warm neutral palette with a pop of green anyways let me end off on oh no wait these are pretty I did not see this at all okay we added one more um but did y'all know makeup forever has these little eyeshadow palettes now these are pretty so it looks like there are four six pans these are stunning i don't know why but these are so beautiful to me hmm hmm <laughs> okay so uh you get four palettes they're all six pans anywhere caffeine has warm nude shades uh whatever black is smoky shades Whatever walnut is the cool shades, and then boneless berry are rosy and peach tone shades. Oh, it's only $32 each, which is not bad for a six pan palette. And they are a makeup artistry brand, so y'all know this is just gonna perform flawlessly on like an everyday look when you're not trying to do too much, like just trying to go to work. And it looks like these are really good for travel. They're nice and pocket sized. I love the outer packaging of this because you just see exactly what the shades are on the outer packaging. This is gorge, and I don't know why I'm so excited about this because it's also kind of basic, but it's really, really pretty basic. Hmm. I might want to like just pop into a Sephora and see what's, what's going on. Is this available now? Yeah, it's available now. It says at Makeup Forever. I'm gonna have to see if this is at Sephora. I really hope it's at Sephora because I want to see it in person. Okay, let's wrap this up because it is getting long, and I know y'all are tired because I'm tired. My voice hurts, and I'm hungry too, so. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. I want to end on the um, Sydney Grace S Southern Spring Collection. So y'all know Sydney Grace doesn't really do sales except for their big Christmas in July sale. And typically with that, that's when they release their palettes. It's usually like that for the year. They don't release very often. And that's one of the things I appreciate about Sydney Grace is that they don't overly pump out products there for y'all to shop or for us to shop so they're very like thoughtful about releases and it's minimal releases throughout the year and they always do a really great christmas in july sale so you can save a lot of money so this is going on now i think i'm sorry i don't remember the timing i did get all of their palettes in pr i will try to do some looks with it for you guys i know i'm late i apologize again my bad y'all but my parents are here and they don't live in this country so I don't get to see them very often so I've been just like hanging with the fam because I mean I'm not gonna explain anything further <laughs> that's just what it is anyways so there are four palettes uh with this uh with the sale and they're all so so very pretty so we have um and I called it the, the Southern Spring Collection, but that's not what the collection is called. I'm sorry. But there's the Southern Spring Palette, the Northern Winter Palette, the Eastern Fall Palette, and then there's a Summer Palette. So basically, it's a seasonal collection and you get a palette for each season. And when it comes to Sydney Grace, I think that their palettes are just really good, solid quality. They don't do anything special. Like, you're not going to get any crazy multi-chromes or dual chromes or anything like that for the most part. You might get a dual chrome here or there or multi-chrome here or there. But if you just want good eyeshadow palettes that, or good eyeshadow that is consistent, the quality is literally consistent from palette to palette, from shade to shade, and it just performs well, and they offer the options to have a light or a deep palette, depending on your skin tone. Like, you can't go wrong with Sydney Grace. Like... I think I've said this previously, but they are probably the most consistent indie brand that I've ever seen. And they always are in like my top five because of that. Okay, let me move over to the end so we can wrap this up. 
Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. There are actually a couple of things that brands are releasing that have been catching my eye. Granted, I do think that sales and shopping has slowed down, not just for me, but just in general, which gives me a lot of confidence in saying that a lot of these things are gonna go on sale very soon because I think a lot of us, myself included, are not just, are not shopping like that anymore. Partly because life is lifing and then also it is summertime and I think that that is just a slower time for makeup and beauty in general. So I don't think you have to rush out and purchase any of these things. You know, the limited edition FOMO strategy, <laughs> it don't really get me like that anymore. I could care less. If I miss it, I miss it. That's just how I'm living life and I hope you don't get caught up in FOMO as well because there'll always be a chance to like get it at a later time for the most part. Anyways, this was really fun. I'm kind of glad that I'm back filming again. It's been a minute, I know that, but I'm doing my best. I appreciate you guys so much more than you know for watching. Let me know down in the comments below if you're planning on picking anything up, if anything has caught your eye, but you're just waiting for a good sale. Let me know what it is that you are looking at as it comes to makeup, beauty, skincare, fragrance, all that fun jazz. If you don't want to comment, but you want to support because y'all know how these algorithms work, just leave me a nice orange heart because that always helps and y'all know how I feel about orange, orange, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.